for your waters. It's a great way to spend summer. I think a lot of people are doing that right about now, right? But the sunscreen that we put on to protect our skin can actually also be harmful to marine life. Meteorologist Lee Spann is here now with how a local company is hoping to change that. Lee? Yeah, that's, that's right, guys. And actually, researchers at Eckerd College tested a new line of body products, which does include sunscreen as well as shampoo, called Stream to Sea. These tests were the first of their kind to keep marine life safe. While diving in a coral reef, something bothered Autumn Blum as divers got back on the boat. And I'm watching all of these divers showering, rinsing off. I'm watching the suds just right overboard. The chemist in me knew what the ingredients were in these products, and it was a little bit troubling. She set out to make a line of natural body products, good for the body and the environment. However, her first natural shampoo trial killed every fish in the tank. I cried. <laughs> It was awful. As an Eckerd College alum, she partnered with them for research that was more targeted than standard tests. In fact, such a new concept, there were no guidelines. We came up and said, well, what if you were someone with long hair and you used a lot of shampoo and the fish decided to jump into your tub with you? I mean, that would be like the maximum concentration. The researchers looked at how the swimming and eating behavior of the fish changed, not just if they lived or died. But you can notice from the competitor sunscreen that the fish really aren't moving very rapidly, whereas over here, normally, they've got that sort of darting behavior. An ingredient in most sunscreens has been proven to bleach coral reefs. Four to 6,000 metric tons of sunscreen is ending up in our coral reefs. These researchers took coral testing beyond adult corals by looking at how products affect coral in the larval stage. Blom incorporated all the findings for products she believes are safe from stream to sea. So that just released line of Stream to Sea products includes sunscreen for $17 and body lotion and shampoo for 13 bucks. And again, that is a higher price point, uh, but it is pretty compa comparable to if you go to any health store, uh, mm -hmm. a little more the high-end yeah. products. Yeah, I think a lot of people just never give it any thought. You think about what, you know, what, what SPF you should use, right. and that's about it. I never thought, wow, this could actually affect life in the ocean. Yeah, cause right. think about it. Anything we put on our bodies eventually gets out into yeah. the... Okay, even and goes into our bodies, too. It, exactly. So that's why she wanted something that was natural for us and good for the environment. Nice. Gotcha. And a lot of people have been putting that sunscreen on today.